we'll go into the text messaging system take a look at some messages unfortunately uh, while there's a bit of a pseudo threaded SMS view here uh, the messages are in the wrong order the newest messages are at the top so it's a little bit counterintuitive if you're expecting that IM type look the editor is pretty easy to use though as it's no big deal just hit reply predictive text for word prediction um, completion that kind of stuff I had that turned off nothing too fancy here but with the full query keyboard nothing fancy is really needed we'll pull up email I have a Gmail account configured under the device uh, the email clients pretty nice uh, it appears to be Java based or brew based not sure but it has it's pretty full featured you can you know mark messages as read and unread and go through uh, see test message here some documents that have been attached uh, there's no support for PDFs or spreadsheets but you actually do get basic support for word documents you can see there's you know some funny things going on characters there but in general you can read it and uh, see what's going on in the message in the document rather Top support for your own server, so you can configure just about any server. Uh, doesn't appear to be any obvious uh, corporate email support, like exchange, exchange or anything like that. You can add multiple accounts though, which is quite nice. The personalized pane of the One Touch menu gives you quick access to things like backgrounds and screensavers, ringtones, and the like. The shortcut pane allows you to define your own shortcuts, uh, photos, bookmarks, um, things like that. For example, we can put the mobile burn homepage onto that pane. The reclaim also comes with basic support for both MySpace and Facebook. The best of green pane has some tips and information on being green. I have, of course, web access and access to Google services. You can bring up the main menu here. You can see it's laid out in a 4x3 grid. Fairly typical. Nothing too exciting inside here. We can take a quick look at the settings. Uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth stereo support. Here's some of the text entry settings like we mentioned earlier. The Reclaim has support for Sprint's music store. Uh, luckily though, the music player defaults to the um, actual player application instead of going to the store first and then having to navigate through it. Uh, there's a nice scan for music functions so you can put music uh, presumably on the card yourself and not have to bother buying it from the store. We'll pull up the camera application here by pressing on the shutter button. Start the camera. See our subject right there. Just take a quick picture just to show you how it works. Here's the menu. See two megapixels, automatic white balance. You can actually turn the shutter sounds off. So that's our quick look at the Samsung Reclaim for Sprint. Very nice query messaging phone that also happens to be environmentally friendly. Uh, a lot of recycled materials used in it, um, earth-friendly chargers even. Very nice package, smooth lines, comfortable to hold, keyboard works pretty well, nice QVGA resolution display. Uh, and considering it's only $49.99 after rebates, uh, it's not too bad of a deal either. It should be available in mid-August. And um, again, that's the Samsung Reclaim, and I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.